What a dirty, filthy mind you got. Oh, no, not dirty, not dirty, baby. Only I know what kind of ideas even supposedly decent people get when gold's at stake. Treasure Serum Andre is special to me because it was um, directed by my grandfather, John Houston, starring my great-grandfather, Walter Houston. It was probably the first film um, my father ever played for me. I must have been about seven years old, and he just thought it'd be good to have a look at what they were up to when they were around and kicking. <laughs> Watching a movie with my father was tough because you weren't allowed to talk or ask questions. So he was sitting there, like, seven years old, like, OK. It, funny enough, I remember I just really enjoyed the picture. My, 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 what great prospectors. Two shoe clerks reading the magazine about prospecting for gold in the land in the midnight sun. Shut your trap. Shut up, Ross. Smash your head flat. I'll leave him alone. <laughs> Can't you see the old man's nuts? Nuts! <laughs> he was so great in the movie. I, what I love about it was there was just such an honesty to his performance. Take another week to break down the mine and put the mountain back in shape. Do what to the mountain? Make her appear like she was before we came. I don't get it. We wounded this mountain. It's our duty to close her wounds. It's the least we can do to show our gratitude for all the wealth she's given us. There's a scene also when the Indians find him and he's like a medicine man and he's acting in such this gentle way. And I was like, oh, he looks like a really lovely man that I would have liked to have spent some time with. Now, I believe one of Humphrey Bogart's best performances was in The Treasure of Sierra Madre. It's quite difficult when you're sort of talking to yourself as an actor, I guess. The bits when he's sort of going insane, he thinks that everyone's against him. How about you going to the village? It's how I think he is ordering me around. What's that, Dobbs? Nothing. It's very easy to ham that stuff up, but I thought it was done so perfectly, and he does it with such sort of intensity in his eyes. I just see Dobbs, like, going mental, going mad. Yeah, I thought it was a total force, but he just did a, a fantastic job. <laughs> to translate a book to screen has its challenges. Sometimes directors who you're with or writers sometimes prefer you not to have read the book if they give you a script. But I disagree with that because I think it gives uh, a lot of the little character traits or anecdotes that can flesh out your character a lot better. My grandfather would read continuously, I mean, throughout his life, he'd always have a book. If more kids of sort of a young age were introduced to older movies, they'd realize the stories were what it was all about. It was about great books that were brought to the big screen because the stories themselves resonated so much with people. I feel like Treasure Sierra Madre is one of those movies that really does that. I think uh, you're in it from the moment it turns on to the time it ends, you know, it's brilliant. Experience the most memorable literary works ever translated to the big screen as Turner Classic Movies presents great adaptations Mondays and Wednesdays this month on Turner Classic Movies.